Hello there guys and welcome to this X-Plane 12 tutorial video. In this video I will show you how to set up your throttle quadrant for single and multi-engine operations in the flight sim. So without further ado, let's get started. Once you have launched X-Plane 12 and connected your flight control successfully to your PC, hover your mouse on the top of the screen then select the settings menu. From the settings menu navigate to the joystick tab. All connected flight controls will be available to you from the device drop-down list. In our case and for the purposes of this tutorial we are interested in the HOTAS throttle by Thrustmaster. When you select your control for the first time you will notice that the device is not calibrated. In order to calibrate it, we're going to click on the Calibrate Now button. Now, we need to move all the axes in this flight control in order to calibrate it. I'm going to begin with the throttle. Axis 5, Axis 4, the mixture, and I have a couple other axes here which I'm going to turn. Once all the bars are showing in blue, it means that the calibration has been successful and that X-Plane 12 has detected your controls. Click Next and Next. Leave your controls in the centered position until the timer is up. The flight control is now properly connected and calibrated and ready for configurations. In this tutorial, we are going to use profiles in order to create separate profiles for aircraft with a single engine and mixture control and another profile for dual engine aircraft such as the Boeing 737. As we move the throttle, you can see the blue bars moving as well, indicating that the controls are properly connected and calibrated. However, there is nothing currently assigned to them. For a single engine Cessna, we need the mixture control and the throttle control. I'm going to assign engine number one throttle to the mixture control and engine two throttle to the actual throttle. We're going to click done. And now if I move the throttle, you can see that the throttle is moving. And if I move the other axis, you can see that the mixture control is moving. However, the mixture control is moving in the opposite direction. As I increase the mixture, it is decreasing, and as I decrease the mixture, it is actually going to the full position. In order to fix this issue, we are going to select Reverse Axis and click Done. Now, I can increase and decrease the mixture properly with the right motion of the joystick. Now that we have our throttle quadrant configured for mixture and throttle control, let's go ahead and create a profile that can be applied to any aircraft that has a throttle quadrant and mixture control. To do this, we're going to click on Manage Profiles. Then, we're going to click on Create New Profile. We're going to name this profile Single Engine. Now that we have the Single Engine profile created, we are going to assign it to the Cessna 172. We're going to scroll down here and look for the Cessna. And as you can see now, we have the Cessna Skyhawk and the single engine profile selected. We are going to select the Cessna Skyhawk G1000 as well. And we're going to select single engine profile. Now we're going to click done. Every time you load the Cessna 172 or the 172 G1000, you will have this profile automatically loaded and ready to go, where the left axis is going to control our throttle and the right axis is going to control the mixture. We are now in the Boeing 737. The single engine profile would still work and would move the throttle quadrant as you can see here. However, if you want granular control over your throttles 1 and 2, then we need a slightly different setup. We're going to begin by heading over to the settings menu and from the joystick tab once more and now we're going to change the configuration of our throttle quadrants. 
First, we're going to click on Manage Profiles and we're going to create a new profile. We're going to call this profile Twin Engine. Now we have the profile selected, we're going to click on Done. Make sure that the active profile selected is Twin Engine. For a Twin Engine aircraft, we're going to select Engine 1 Throttle to be Throttle 1, like so, and Engine Throttle 2 to be Throttle 2. And now, as you can see, we have granular control over our throttles, and we can move the throttles for Engine 1 and 2 independently. Now, what you can do is you can apply the Twin Engine Profile to all the aircraft in X-Plane 12 that have twin engines. To do this, we're going to go to Manage Profile, and you're simply going to look for your aircraft, and then select the profile that you want to assign to this aircraft. Once you do this, and you load the aircraft, it will be loaded automatically with this particular profile. Please note that you are able to change all the settings of all the keyboard assignments, your flight controls, save them into profile, and then assign the profile to your aircraft. One last tip before the conclusion of this tutorial. You are able to access the control sensitivity of your flight controls through the control sensitivity option. The control response can then be configured using those sliders. Moving the sliders to the midpoint will provide you with better resolution at the expense of realism. My recommendation is to always keep these sliders at the far left. If you need to make changes, and if your controls are a bit too sensitive, always use the response curves to make the necessary adjustments. For more information on how to set up your response curves, the tutorial video is linked in the description section of the video. Well folks, this brings us to the conclusion of this short tutorial video. I hope that you find it useful and insightful. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.